2021 started off with snow. The first day of the year, Milwaukee picked up just over two and a half inches, just a start to a snowy few months. By January 31st, the airport recorded 23.3 inches, nearly eight and a half above normal. Ten of that fell on the 30th and 31st. We woke up this morning, looked outside and thought what? This is crazy. This is very crazy. Yeah, I've never seen it like this before. The Lake Enhance system dropped more than a foot in Racine, and the snow didn't slow down in February. A lake effect snow band brought nearly 18 inches to parts of Racine and Kenosha counties on the 15th and 16th. Never probably seen this much snowfall in one day for, in, for my entire life. Milwaukee's airport picked up close to 10 inches, bringing the snow depth to 24, Milwaukee's highest in more than 20 years. But snow wasn't the only weather headline in southeastern Wisconsin this year. Overnight, July 28th into the 29th, a line of storms produced strong winds and six tornadoes in our area. I'm just devastated. You know, this has been my home for a long time. I'm just glad everybody's safe. The strongest tornado, an EF1 in Jefferson County, producing 105 mile per hour winds, staying on the ground for more than 12 miles. Then a week and a half later, a line of storms brought widespread wind damage toppling trees, and leaving about 225,000 homes and businesses in the dark. So right away he came outside and you could just see everything just falling apart and all these trees falling down. Jump ahead to December. Not much snow, but another windstorm knocking out power to tens of thousands of customers and damaging holiday lights displays like the Kids to Kids Winter Wonderland in Grafton. We wake up this morning and come here just like everybody has and like, wow, we've got some pretty significant issues. To top it all off, 2021 was warm. 10 out of 12 months were warmer than average, and six ranked in the top 10 warmest, dating back to 1871. For Weather Watch 12, I'm Molly Bernard.